Winnenberg Project. About to start the new year off. And this happens. Morning's live stream. The congregation inside West Freeway Church of Christ was passing around communion. At the top of your screen, near the center, you see a man dressed in black who's been sitting in this service, stand to take the symbolized body and blood of Christ. He returns to his seat briefly before coming back out of the pew to speak to the man who just gave him communion. We are freezing the video here, just before that suspect pulls out a rifle and fires. Sad, sad man. A, a guy was murdered while giving communion. Murdered in church. Like, he's a martyr, bro. He's a martyr. I know us in the West don't really talk about it and we don't really celebrate or recognize our fallen brothers and sisters in the faith. He's a martyr, bro. Like, like he's with Christ right now. He was, like, it's, um... It's a serious thing, man. It's a serious thing, and it, it, it makes me sad that I'm seeing fellow Christians kind of, I don't want to say go at, but say that the heroes who return fire. And prevented a lot more deaths and killed the guy who came in there and murdered people with the goal of murdering people that... What he did wasn't Christ-like. Yo, I get it, man. Love the world. We are the world. Kumbaya. Kuna Matata. All that good stuff. But when love of neighbor does not include protect your neighbor, you're doing it wrong. I'm sorry. You're doing it wrong. We have passages like... And this passage is more so about Jesus, but it's still, it's still a testament to the, the meaning behind it. To love your brothers... To, Going to live, lay your life down for them. Things of that nature. Like, do people really think that that the Christ-like thing would be just to line up and let this dude give everybody a headshot? That's the Christ. Listen, man. Like, this is a, it, it, it's sad that it's come to this. Like, the guys with the gun could have just left. They could have just ran for their life. Fear will do that to you. Fear will make you just. Think about you and yours. Like, oh, get down, kids. X is over here. Most churches have various exit doors. You know? So let's not downplay the fact that him getting up and shooting back is risking his own life. Because return fire happens. Return fire happens. Like, he literally stood up to protect the members of that church. And by the grace of God, he did. All it takes is a second. He could have been the next dead dude. You know? And then people, oh, I'll never carry a gun to church. I just, that's fine, man. No one's saying you have to. But let's not downplay the ones who are willing to lay their life on the line to protect you, me. And even if you don't want to be protected, protect the kids in Sunday school. Protect the old lady in the back. Like, just because you're, just because you're so... Your faith is so strong. You're such a super Christian that I don't care if you blow my brains on the carpet. I'll willingly go and leave my wife and kids to fend for themselves in life. Yeah, that's real pious of you, bro. Or I'm so holy, I'll let you massacre this lady next to me. And I'll pray for you. Okay, cool, bro. It's cool. You're, 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 you're one of those bigger than a mustard seed Christians, right? That's you? All right, that's you. All right, bro. You shoot the person next to me. I'm trying to take your head off, straight up, straight up. I am trying to take your mask off, like, and I ain't talking about mask, like, 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 like remove a mask. I'm talking about I'm trying to blow your features off your face. And if you judge me for that, you judge me for that. But you're, I'm not gonna sit here and let harm be done to my neighbor and think that that's the holy or the pious thing to do. If I'm wrong, Lord forgive me, Lord forgive me. But it's just amazing that people are. Have the goal to act like the, the person who returned fire and saved numerous people's lives is not a hero. 
or what he did was not Christ-like or in accordance with the faith in regards to protecting and loving his neighbors. It's sick, bro. It's sick. Like people who feel uh, I don't, I don't even want to go there, but put it this way. You should just go over to Nigeria and bro and walk up to ISIS and be like, don't kill these kids, kill me. It's only a plane trip, bro. Like, like I'm sure you might have enough in your savings account to go do that. Cause Listen, man, it, it, it pisses me off. I'm going to keep it real. It pisses me off because, and, and like one guy said, don't love all pacifists together. Okay, I shouldn't do that. Okay? But from my situation in regards to the type of pacifist I'm talking about, it pisses me off, bro. Because I didn't come from uh, suburbia or, or things of that nature. Like, I've seen bad things. I've seen bad I, I've seen bad things with my eyes and to know that, yo, the Christ-like things for me just to, uh, what? Not, not, not do nothing. To not, not be willing to stand there and protect somebody. I, 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 man, maybe I'm just a bad Christian. I'll take that. I never thought I was a great one in general. I, uh, all my faith's in Christ. Like I rely on Him. I try to live according to His will and His ordinances and His laws. Yes, I try to obey God's laws. And. I just don't see how me loving my neighbor is not being willing to take up arms to literally protect them. I don't get it. And a guy who did this, you're a hero, bro. Don't let no one tell you nothing different. Don't let no one tell you nothing different. You guys standing up and busting back, job well done. Job well done. Anyhow, man, it happened in a place called White Church. And it's just devastating, man, that we're starting, we're coming into the new year like this. And don't get me wrong, other countries deal with it more in regards to Egypt and other places dealing with the Coptic Christians. They face this a lot more frequently, you know? You know what I'm saying? Sorry, sorry. Like, when it's this close to home, it makes you realize it even more, even more that, you know what I'm saying? It's not, I'm not one of those Christians who say we're persecuted because we can't say Merry Christmas. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. Okay. But I'm not going to sit here and act like people being murdered in churches and murdered for their faith is not becoming a, a scary trend. You know, it's becoming a scary trend to, to know that. And then to know that to be willing to stand up and defend your neighbor to some is not considered the thing to do. I just don't, I mean, love a neighbor has to include protection. I mean, it has to include be willing to protect your neighbor. If you're willing to lose your life for the faith, that is awesome. Don't get me wrong. That is awesome. Lay your life down. You know what I'm saying? But, does that mean that you have to allow your neighbor to lose his life because you're willing to lose yours? Like, No. I'm sorry, I will die protecting my wife. No he he ha ha, no joke about it, bro. Like, you're not doing that. You're not doing that. Now, if it's a situation where it's like, um, denounce your faith or die, that's something different. That's something different than someone coming in and just blasting and there's no, um, I had this conversation, I won't put the tweet up because it was a decent conversation. Well, this guy was saying the Christ-like thing would be to ask him to disarm, that's what Jesus would do. Man, Jesus probably could stop the bullet. You know what I'm saying? So let's not act like like like, like we really doing the WWJD the what would Jesus do? You know what I'm saying? Um Yeah, no, no. That's not okay. Like it's okay to stand up and protect your neighbor. It's okay to know this isn't happening. It isn't happening. You know? Anyhow, man, pray for the people, man. Pray, pray for the people going through this. Pray for the church because things are getting wild out here. 